Welcome everyone. My name is Chris Hendry. With Rainbow Six Siege's closed beta, a lot of you are going to be playing the game for the first time. Here are five tips pinpointing key behaviors and strategies to use while playing. Knowing the position of your enemy or denying them access to yours should be one of your team's top priorities. At the start of the preparation phase, the attacker spawn as a drone. Your main priorities are to scout traps, enemy positions, and the objective location. As the prep phase comes to an end, it is ideal to try to put your drone in a spot that is hidden. This will ensure it stays alive. As long as your drone is alive, you can use it to help your team by tagging enemies. Tagged enemies have their names shown through walls for duration. When playing as a defender, you have access to a number of security cameras. Use these cameras early in the round to identify where the enemies are coming from and communicate that information to your team. You have a compass at the bottom right hand side of your screen that is useful to identify where the attackers have spawned and from where they are likely to breach. Also, each room has a name that is located under the compass to help players learn the map and better expose enemy locations. And remember, when not gathering intel, you should always try to take out the other team's observation devices. In Siege, destruction opens up many opportunities to create new navigation paths and line of sights. Understanding the map layout is just half the battle. You need to learn how to use destruction efficiently in each of them. Some walls and floors are partially destructible and will only allow for lines of sight. These offer you a new vantage point and allow you to throw flashbangs, grenades, and other gadgets. On the other hand, some walls and floors will be completely destructible, allowing you to navigate through. Learn where the floor traps are and which surfaces are fully destructible in each map. In-house, taking down a wall in the bathroom gives you visibility control on the main lobby area in the second floor hallway. Also, the kitchen backdrop can be destroyed, giving visibility on either the back stairs or the kitchen while staying hidden. In Hereford, you have full visibility on the armory, the projector room, and the stairs by punching holes in these walls. Lastly, in Consulate, you have access to one of the objective rooms in the basement if you breach the trap door inside the reception desk on the main floor. These are just a few examples. Navigate the map, play with destruction, and use it to your advantage. The game is built around a unique pick system, which means that no same operator can be selected twice during a round. Team composition is crucial, and you need to be familiar with the 20 operators and their respective roles. Operators can be split into five roles. Point men are typically the ones who are in first line facing the threat. They usually carry a ballistic shield, covering them and their teammates, and are useful to pass through defender choke points. Breachers excel at opening new, unexpected entry points. They carry a specific gadget, giving them a unique breach option that no other operator has. Trappers specialize in turning the place into a deadly fortress. They carry booby traps that can be fatal to any careless attacker. Blockers hold a gadget that will greatly slow down the enemy. Contrary to trappers, Blockers' gadgets are usually non-lethal that can neutralize the attacker's weapons and tools. If you're more into assisting your team, you can play as a support. For instance, these operators either specialize in providing intel, extra armor, or reviving their teammates with more efficiency. Finally, keep in mind that each operator has a different level of speed and armor. Characters with more armor will be slower, and those without will be faster. At the start of the preparation phase, decide which areas of the map you want to completely zone off. These sections should be heavily fortified with barricades, barbed wires, and well-placed traps. Attackers who take these paths will see their progress slowed and ultimately be exposed. Listen carefully, as you will hear enemies walk through barbed wire and break barricades to get to you, giving you some indication to their position. Completely barricading yourself in the objective room might be your first instinct when playing as a defender, but it's not always the optimal strategy. By doing so, your team gives the attackers full freedom to close in on you like fish in a barrel. 
Control the map flow by creating different layers of defense and position yourself smartly to cover key entrances. You want to force choke points so enemies become bottlenecked. Wooden barricades are unlimited, so don't hesitate to optimize your defense throughout the round. Remember, keep a path open in the objective room if you need to retreat quickly or need help from your team. The clock is the defender's best ally. The more time that passes, the more pressure the attacking team feels. Therefore, the less time that is left in a round, the more chances attackers will make mistakes as they become rushed and disorganized. As a defender, try to slow down the attackers by using all of your tools, traps, and gadgets. By smartly covering all the potential entry points close to the objective, you run the clock and put pressure on the attackers to make a move. If you're the last defender alive and the remaining time is close to zero, then you might want to hide somewhere near the objective and wait. Certain operators like Smoke can often delay the clock a great deal and win the round without even shooting a bullet. As an attacker, you want to create chaos, panic, and misdirection for the defenders. Observe where the defenders are positioned and create diversions by using grenades and breach charges to form a coordinated attack. During the confusion, try to close in on the objective. A great tool is Fuse's cluster mine that punches a small hole in a wall and unloads four grenades in one single room. This will force the defenders to get out of the way and leave them exposed. Thank you for watching our tip video, and I'll see you in the closed beta.